Hello, Octalysis Primers. Today we're going to talk about the three pillars of perfect leadership. And leadership is obviously a very important thing in any type of group organization. Doesn't matter if you're in a school classroom, if you're running a company, if you are、uh, leading a family, let's say. I think these three pillars apply, and with good leadership, you can do a lot more than anyone、uh, that you're leading can imagine. Right? You're pushing people beyond what they thought was possible. And so, these three pillars, I found them pretty inclusive. I found that most leaders have at least two of the three、uh, pillars, and if you have all three, you become a really, really strong leader. So, the first pillar is vision. A leader must have the vision of where the group is going. You know, they need to have creative. They need to see what needs to be done to for the group to be successful. And this is really a combination between creativity and experience, pretty much. Sometimes logic, but mostly experience,、um, because you need the creativity to see, to imagine scenarios that other people don't see. But you also need this experience to evaluate: is that good or not? Is that possible or not? Should we be there or not? And not everyone has vision, but vision can be developed through training your creativity and, again,、um, developing more experience. And so the second pillar is empathy: basically understanding where your team's at, how do they feel, do they have insecurities, and just just making them appreciate. You know, being in your team and obviously feeling that you appreciate their involvement. Now, once you have vision, you know where the team needs to go, and you have empathy. You know how the team is feeling right now. Then you have the third pillar, which is execution, driving the team to go from where they are right now to where they need to be towards that vision. And so, like I said, a lot of leaders have. Two or two of the three pillars. Very, very, very few leaders have all three of them. So, for instance, some people have vision and they have empathy. They're visionary. They they always talk about things that people don't see, and they're nice to nice to their employees, their groups, and everyone likes them. But this person doesn't have good execution skills. This person's not good at just saying, "Hey, gotta get things done. Come on, deadline, deadline, accountability." Because maybe that empathy is just too nice. To to say these things and the team doesn't execute very efficiently.、Um, I think I'm kind of grouped in that category. Now there are people who have vision and they have execution skills. However, they don't have the empathy. So this is where you have some of those typical typical tyrants, right? Who are very good at execution. You got to deliver A B C D E F G. Got to do this. Come on, you're gonna get fired if you don't do it, right? And so. The team is efficient. It, it pushes through strongly. However, the team doesn't like.、It. They don't feel comfortable, and a lot of people leave the team. There's、uh, there's a lot of turnover. Some of the very successful people are in this group. You know, Steve Jobs is is probably in this group. And then there are people who are、uh, who are very good at empathy. They're very good at execution. However, they don't have vision. So they get the team efficiently and happily happily. Pushing into the wrong direction and going down the cliff, and of course that's not helpful either.、Um, so, so vision is also very, very important. And like I said, once you have all three of these pillars, I think you become a very, very strong leader. And the key is constantly developing your skills towards it, right? Like I said, I just identified that my skill, my my issue is execution. I'm sometimes a little bit too nice. I have this, I have a lot of empathy skills. That's how I power my octalysis knowledge, you know, behavioral design, gamification, and I think I have a lot of vision because of that creativity that comes out and some of that experience of failing a lot with startups and whatnot. But I think my weakness is just. Putting people accountable, pushing them forward, even if it makes them feel uncomfortable, doesn't matter. We gotta actually get things done, and that's something I'm working on as a leader. And sometimes, you know, I bring other people on my team、uh, to have that execution discipline, right? To to be able to push people.、Um, but I, and ideally,、uh, I don't rely on a good cop bad cop system. But I am I am perfectly capable as a strong leader who has all three pillars, and I get I'm I get the I, I move the team 
to the right place and we deliver world-changing results. All right, well, hopefully uh, this is useful for you. If you're a leader, uh, chances are if you're not the leader, you know the leader ab above you that you're working with, what pillars they have, what pillars they don't have. And uh, it's, it's actually really hard to suggest, hey, maybe you should have this one pillar. But in overall, I think the key is to understand, okay, what you can learn when you become a leader or as you are a leader right now, um, how can you identify your weakness and then overcome it. So as an exercise, I would recommend you to kind of think about your own leadership style, think about what pillars you have, what you don't have, and think about how you can actually improve and increase the pillar that you don't have. Of course, you don't have one out of three, that's even more problematic. Uh, that's like early stage, you're just trying out, starting to be a leader. Uh, if you have only a vision, then you're a dreamer, right? If you only have execution, uh, then you're a hustler, right? If you only have empathy, then you're like a caregiver, I guess. Uh, but you need two to actually lead and you need three to be a great leader. So anyway, again, I want you to think about what you lack and then how, what are the steps you could potentially take to improve yourself, to add more of those pillars as a leader. All right, that's, for, that's all for now. Prime on.